and Sean trusted you. Yes, yes. Uh, it's entirely the fault of this lady, Dr. Lisa Ramshaw. Uh, I've never done anything in mental health. I've done lots of films uh, destigmatizing somebody or other, a lot of films with criminals, for example. And Lisa came to a screening at the National Film Board, a test screening for the last film that we did, Life with Murder, and uh, watched a couple of my other films, and she said, uh, you should uh, really make a film about my field. Uh, in the style that you make it, well, it turned out to be easier said than done because uh, they don't really like the media in these institutions. They they keep people out, and, you know. They're concerned about stigmatizing the patients. Um, you, when these things, terrible incidents happen, uh, uh, guys uh, uh, and then women who commit horrific acts of violence. It's more guys than women. Uh, they disappear them off the face of the earth. You never see them talk. You never see Vincent Lee, the bus to header, talk, or the Connecticut or Colorado shooters talk. They hide them away because they think it's, you know, it's uh, for the best of reasons in many cases, or the best of motives at least. And I thought, wouldn't it be wonderful uh, to try to understand, well, what do they do with these people? What can be done with them? What's the treatment process? Could would it actually be possible? to uh, persuade uh, someone who had done an act like this to come on camera. And we have a surprise for you here tonight because we have uh, with us in the audience, uh, Sean Clifton. Incredibly courageous man. Incredibly courageous man. If I'm going to be in my seat, please, before the running. Uh, for, this is, an, this is an era in which, uh, <laughs> this is an era in which uh, 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 forensic psychiatric patients who commit these acts are being demonized in the media, right, left, and center. Mr. Harper has just surpassed Bill C-54 helping to demonize them even further. Uh, here's a man who decided that he was going to put himself forward and risk having all of his neighbors in Rockville and everybody find out who he was and what he did and all the attendant risk and danger that came with us in part to help other people with mental illness in this country is an incredibly courageous thing that he did. And he was terrified this is the first time We, we, this is really the first time he's kind of facing the public. We, we did sneak him into an earlier screening of Hot Dogs, but uh, he didn't come up on stage. He has consented to answer uh, some of your questions uh, here tonight. I know we don't have a lot of time with the, the Q&A today, but uh, um, he is, uh, as far as we know, the first uh, patient, uh, the forensic psychiatric patient who's given, um, who's been introduced to the public. So there you go. I thought this was an important thing to do. Uh, part of the reason is that uh, patients are returning to the community and nobody really understands very much about what they do with them. Thank you, Sean. Are they okay? Yeah, very kind. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are kind. <laughs> what do you think of the documentary? Uh, I thought it turned out pretty good. It turned out pretty good. <laughs> it was the second longest 90 minutes of my life. <laughs> hey, some of you going to ask you for autographs? Yeah. <laughs> How do other other patients like your your friend did, did your uh, the Will the guy who was has he seen it? What what is uh, this? Any other patients seen it? What what do you think? Uh, I think I think Will liked it. Will liked it. Yeah. And um, what about this guy? This guy at the end and doctor who, who was. Getting consult this guy, John. You no pressure, no pressure. No pressure. Say whatever you like. <laughs> yeah, John was uh, very kind and uh, kind of uh, facilitated my uh, apology to the Bouvier family. Things were kind of things were kind of moving along a little slow in that area, and uh, I guess John kind of told the Bouviers I'd like to apologize and things, and uh, kind of speeded things up a bit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sean, if I may ask one question, what is it, I know we were all terrified when Bill C-54 came out and uh, suddenly uh, forensic mental patients were, were the most unpopular people in this country, we were all kind of concerned what was going to happen to Sean Clifton when the film finally came out, when the people in your 
your friends and people in your community who had no idea who you are, what you did, what was, was there going to be an ugly backlash? What has been the response uh, to, to it, Sean? Well, people stop to talk to me at bus stops and things, or people uh, approach me on the bus, uh, strangers and things, they want to shake my hand and say uh, I've been an inspiration to their friends when they think they've been bottom and stuff. And have you had any negative reaction? None. 